In this episode, we will continue with our series of pronunciation videos. These are meant to help you learn how to read specific sounds in Portuguese. Today, we will be talking about the letter X, which in my opinion is one of the most challenging letters to pronounce in Portuguese due to the various sounds it can have. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe and join my Patreon page to support me and the time I put into developing these videos for you. E agora, vamos começar! Today, I will be using a poem to guide you through the various sounds of the letter X, xix in Portuguese. I'll leave the complete poem in the description below. I hope that having this mnemonic will help you memorize these sounds in a fun way. Os sons da letra X são cinco, vamos ver, e cada um deles nós vamos aprender. Though there are exceptions to each rule, it's commonly accepted among Portuguese native speakers to read this letter in five different ways, depending on its position in the word, the letter before and after, and also the etymology of the word. So let's dive into each sound. X sounding like sh. Lemos sh no lixo e na caixa, no xadrez e no xarope, no peixe e na baixa. This is the sound that letter X always has when it's at the beginning of a word. So words like xarope, xadrez, or the masculine name Xavier, will always have this sh sound when you read it. Also, if the letter X is preceded by a diphthong, usually A or I, sh is the sound of it, as in paixão, queixo, or embaixador. In the middle of the word, it is also possible to find the sound sh frequently in the words deriving from Latin, as in chofre, Enxame or lixo. Next, X sounding like S. Lês como S quando tu és o máximo e quando pedes auxílio a alguém que está próximo. This is one of the least common sounds of the letter X. There are not many words where you can read S when you find the letter X in written. However, again, coming from Latin, there are three words you can memorize as read like this. Massimo, prossimo, auxilio. The verbs, adjectives and nouns from the same family are read the same way, like aproximar or auxiliar. Also remember the PPS of the verb to bring, trazer, is read with this s sound, eu trouxe, tu trouxeste, and so on. Now the X sounding like z. Vamos ler como z quando damos um exemplo, quando fazemos um exercício ou estudamos para um exame. We are now at the easiest part of this five-step journey. I bet you'll find this rule the easiest to memorize and to apply. And it is quite simple, in fact. X is read like Z whenever it is preceded by the letter E and followed by any vowel. It will be the first letter of a syllable, but having an E behind, forcing the sound of the X to become Z. So words like Exemplo, exercício, exame, or exausto are all read with the Z sound. All these words come from Latin, and I'm sure you noticed that they are all read in English the same way but using Gz instead of Z for the sound of the letter X. Next is X sounding like Aish. Agora lemos Aish 
no prefixo de exprofissão ou quando é sexta-feira e vamos ver uma exposição. For this sound, there are basically two rules for you to pay attention to. The first one is the use of the prefix eis that we read for ex. So every time you say ex-husband, you have to read it in Portuguese as ex-marido. The second rule for this sound is quite easy to memorize, as it is the opposite of the previous one of the z sound. In this case, when you have the x preceded by an e, but at the end of a syllable and followed by a consonant, easy, right? Extraordinario, I would say. Lastly, we have x sounding like x. Por fim, vamos ler x. Quando vamos de táxi trabalhar, quando tocamos saxofone e precisamos de oxigênio para respirar. After a long list of rules, I have to share with you that when it comes to the x sound, there's really nothing else to do but to memorize the several words with a sound written with x. While most of them come from Latin too, as fluxu, sexu, or maxilar, there are others such as oxigenio, coming from Greek, or taxi, coming from German first and then French. Here are some more words for you to add to your list of x sound by the letter x. Tórax, conexão, reflexão, fixo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember that we have a whole playlist focused on pronunciation. In previous videos, we have already covered some tricky sounds like some diphthongs or the consonants S and R. Leave me a like and a comment. Do you usually struggle with a letter X? Até a próxima!